so I need everybody to flip to the very back page where you have the map. We are now going to talk about what is called a scale. Does anybody know where the scale on this map is? Where's the scale on this map? Anybody know? Yes, point to it. There you go. All right, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so we typically... We typically in the U.S. use the measurement of miles. So this bottom one, I know it's really hard to read, but I double checked it yesterday. This is 300 miles. So you might want to write that off to the side because it's really difficult to read. So this line right here on the map is equal to 300 miles in real life. I want everybody to put your ruler up against that line. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and say that it is closest to the measurement three-fourths of an inch long. Okay? So we're going to go to the very first page, and we're going to write at the bottom where it says ratio. We're going to write three fourths of a mile, or sorry, three-fourths of an inch to 300 miles. I'm going to write that a little less sloppy underneath there. So three-fourths inch to 300 miles. That means if we are using the same map, which we're going to use for the entire project, Every time we measure three-fourths of an inch, that's going to equal 300 miles. Okay? So we're going to use the measurements that we have to figure out what the miles are. Because we can't say that we're only going to drive five inches because that would be silly. We're going to drive more than that. Okay? So we're going to talk real quick about how to fill in the next table. And that's going to be our task for today. Okay, so we're going to start with two cities and their distance in inches. Okay, so I'm going to pick two to show as an example. You can write this down, but I want you to write it down not in the table because you need the table for your own. All right, somebody give me their first destination. Kansas City to where? Saray? Perfect. So I'm going to... Find LA, find Kansas City, and draw my line. All right, so I'm going to measure, hey guys, voice is off. I'm gonna measure this distance right here. And I'm going to say that it is close to three and a half inches. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. So here's how I would fill out this table. Again, you are not going to fill it out on the table. You can write it up here, but I'm going to put it on my table. You write it up here because you need the table. So I'm going from Kansas City. Oh. To LA, and yes, you can abbreviate on this page, and it is three and a half inches. Okay? I'm gonna use the same scale every single time because that is the scale of the map. Okay? So we're gonna set up a proportion, and it's always gonna start with three fourths inch on top and 300 miles on bottom because that is our scale. So every single one of these proportions, your first one's gonna be three fourths over 300. We know inches because we just measured inches. So whatever we know, we're gonna put on the top here, three and a half. What we are trying to find out is how many miles is that in real life, okay? So your proportion's always gonna look like Three-fourths inch over 300 miles is equal to however many inches your distance is over x. Then we're going to cross, multiply, and solve. 
this is where you might want to start putting those fractions into decimals. So when I cross multiply, I'm going to do 3 fourths times x, and I'm just going to go ahead and change it to 0 0.75 times x because I can do that on my calculator. Then I'm going to change 3 and a half to what? 3 and a half is equal to what? 3.5. Okay, so I'm going to take 3.5 times 300, which is 1,050 miles, or sorry, 1,050, okay? So I just cross multiplied my proportion. Then I'm going to solve for x by doing what? How do I get this x by itself? How do I get this x by itself? It's attached to 0.75. Yes. Oh my goodness. You do know how to do it. So x is equal to 1050 divided by 0 0.75. Now, you are going to find out when you divide by a decimal, your number is going to increase. That's OK. My answer was 1,400. So that means I'm going to travel 1,400 miles between Kansas City and LA. Okay? So I write my two cities and the distance in inches. I set up my proportion. Always start with 3 fourths inch over 300. Put your inches on top and your x on bottom. Cross multiply. So 0.75x equals three and a half or 3.5 times 300 and then divide then you get your miles okay so you're going to fill that in with the table from the first page so you're going to go from kansas city to your first city and then from your first city to your second city and then from your second city to your third city all through here step six is to find the total distance traveled during your road trip questions Yes. Yes, this page is your task for today. Okay? Pages one and two, all the way through step six. Do Thursday. Okay? All right.